Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Damian Kelly and I'm making this video because I want to discuss fluoroquinolone toxicity. Um, my experience with it, you know, what it's done to my body, you know, how it's affected my life. So basically the purpose of this video is to share my journey through this from the beginning when it first started um, to now, um, what I'm doing to heal what I've done to heal and what I continue to do. So I will be recording weekly, um, whether it's just about diet or supplementation or just everything I'm doing, you know, on this journey. So stay tuned for that. Um, basically my main goal is to just help anybody else that's going through this. If I can help at least one person, then my goal is complete. So thanks for watching and here's my story. Hey everyone. So my journey with this begins in July of 2021, um, somewhere around there. Um, I had just moved into an apartment with my two kids on my own. Um, I'm a single father of two. Everything was going good. Um, and then I started to have like UTI type symptoms. Um, so I went to, I went to the ER and they gave me a shot in my leg for one. Um, an antibiotic shot just to um, rule out syphilis um, then they gave me doxycycline and by the way the the pee test and the blood test were both negative for everything no infection but they still gave me these things so I took the I took the doxy for I'm gonna say probably a week and I started having like kidney pains and just I was dizzy I just I couldn't handle that antibiotic so I went back because I still had all the symptoms um, got more P tests more blood tests still negative for everything and they gave me a flagell I took the flagell I waited um, probably couple days and the symptoms were still there I was still having this pain um, so I went back to my doctor and he gave me Bactrim <laughs> so this is the third antibiotic in a row so I took the Bactrim for um, I'm gonna say probably a week and I just felt horrible. I couldn't I couldn't take it anymore. So again I went back. <laughs> and mind you, every time I went back, I got tested again and it was always negative. Yet they kept giving me more antibiotics. I don't understand it. Um you would think they would look for a deeper cause here. But um anyways, the last time I went back, he gave me Levoquin and he never told me that this is a really strong antibiotic. Um, it's up to you if you want to take it or just nothing like that. Just basically, here's the next antibiotic. We'll see if it works. Um, anyways, so I start taking the Levaquin. I'm going to say I took it about half a week, um, twice a day for about half a week. Um, and then around that half week mark one day I just got so dizzy out of nowhere and um, feeling like I was gonna faint like pass out like a really really bad dizziness so I kinda just laid on my bed and uh, got through that that day and the next day I woke up and my legs were completely asleep like numb i couldn't feel my legs i was freaking out i, I called my mom um 
it was horrible to say the least. I was terrified. And after a little while of like hitting my legs and moving them and they woke up and from that day on my legs, like my lower body just felt just so heavy. Every time I stood up, it, it's hard to explain, but it just felt really heavy. And, uh, that went on for a few days and then I started to just really be like trembling and shaky and I felt just terrible and this and at this point it's sparking anxiety like really bad I'm thinking that that I'm just dying I, I don't know what's going on I'm thinking it's the in, the infection like um, of the symptoms I had. I never thought it would be, it was the antibiotic. So I go to the ER and I can't tell you how many times during, from that time to, I'm just going to say months after that, how many times I went to the ER, just terrified. Um, anyways, so it progressed into that for a while and then it's it's like the symptoms just kept changing and it's it's really strange um it went from that to just feeling really faint i had to call my mom to get me off the floor uh, a few times she had to come over and help me um that kind of dissipated after a little while and then it turned into the veins in my arms were just on fire like burning really bad I, it's hard to explain like i had to try to explain this to doctors and let me tell you they 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 just think you're crazy um it's really sad that we have to go through this alone and just basically be shrugged off and told that it's all in your head when you when you know that before before this, you, this just wasn't your life. You've never experienced this, you know. I was a completely different person before I took those pills. Like, I know that. You can't tell me otherwise. Um, anyways. So, it progressed from that to the burning of my arms. That finally went away after, like, a couple weeks. Um, and then my entire body was just pins and needles just tingling everywhere I would start itching everywhere um, that went on for like a month um, and then my my inner thighs and my knees started to hurt um, they were sore for I'm gonna say about a month I started to see a, a urologist because I was still having those symptoms um, they were starting to go away, but I, I was still having them. And after going to the urologist for a while, we found out that I had pelvic floor muscle issues. That's all it was the whole time. I never had an infection. I never needed to take these pills. And it's just devastating to know that. And, um... Anyways, and then from there, I started to get, I now have TMJ on my left side. Um, my lymph nodes are all swollen. They're still swollen a year and a half later. Um, still having pain in my jaw, my whole side of my face. Um, I'm still foggy headed a lot. Um, I think it really, really destroyed my stomach. So right now I'm just trying to really work on healing my stomach and with a diet and just lowered stress and um, anything really that I can do to to heal my stomach I'll be making more videos on that um, like I said in the beginning weekly I'm gonna make videos on my on my diet on everything I'm doing everything I've done up to this point um, I can I can say a few things that have helped me is to stop stop looking things up that's a, that's a big one because you're just creating fear for yourself and stress is just it's gonna tear you apart um, so 
there's that there's you know lower your stress meditate even if you feel horrible and just 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 try to uh try to just lower your stress if you can um magnesium magnesium is a huge thing if i would have known this in the beginning i think it could have helped me faster but like i said i didn't know that the leviquin did this to me i uh i assumed it was tons of other things before i knew it was the leviquin i uh i was on um prilosec for years so when this happened i stopped taking that at the same time just because i started to be scared to take anything because of how i felt and i assumed that I was having withdrawals from from not taking that. So there was me thinking that. There was me thinking that I have a, a crazy infection that's causing me sepsis or something. <laughs> uh, all kinds of things going through my mind. Um, and this progressed for months and months of me just worrying about what 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 this could be. And then... I stumbled across the Facebook page, a group of people that have taken Levaquin and Cypro and dealt with fluoroquinolone toxicity and still dealing with it. Um, that has helped me a lot. So for another tip, I, w I would say join one of those groups. They, uh, they're very welcoming. They understand when everyone else around you in your life doesn't understand. And I don't blame I don't blame the people in my life for not understanding because, you know, they don't know. They've never been through this. Um, I also don't blame the doctor because I don't think that they're informed, you know. I don't think they're fully informed about this. So if they were, they would they would try to help. So anyway, um, yeah, that's basically where I'm at. I can say if I look back now that I have gotten better, I still have a lot of problems and a long way to go, I feel like, but there is hope guys. Um, I'm going to be making videos just who knows, maybe I'll get better and better and these videos can help somebody else too. I know that we're all different. I know that we're, we all have different things going on we all are affected differently by it i'm thankful that i'm not in a wheelchair or bedridden like some people um it's re it's really sad what this uh what these drugs do to people um but anyways with that thank you guys for watching my uh my video and don't forget to like and subscribe so i can get this out to as many people as possible so i can possibly help somebody else dealing with these issues. Thank you very much and have a good day.